Hello. This video is about making a time scale with details such as fast names, start date, finish date, and a bar chart showing the time scale. Um, this is also known as Gantt chart. So basically, we will see how a Gantt chart can be made. In doing so, we will be using Microsoft Project. You can find my PowerPoint slides in the blog, banksandmarkets.wordpress.com. Now, this is made based on students' request, where I found that a majority of the students had never used Microsoft Project in their previous studies. But they had some some good amount of knowledge using Microsoft Excel. So, we start with Excel here and finish at Microsoft Project. Now, let us see how it works. What I want is in Microsoft Excel, I want you to type in the various task names, the start date, and finish date of your project plan. Now here, the project is dissertation writing. So, for dissertation writing, in Microsoft Excel, I want you to type in all the tasks. To save the recording time, I have already typed in the various activities of writing dissertation, which in fact, for this purpose, is various chapters of the dissertation and the shop and the headings inside each chapter. And there is the start date and the finish date. Now, the first step will be to copy all the tasks and paste it in Microsoft Project underneath the task name. And I want you to tell to the computer that the dissertation is the whole project and introduction, review of literature, methodologies, these are the chapters and all these are chapter headings. To do so, you need to do the indenting. So highlight all, accept dissertation, go to task and click this indenting button. Now, these are the tasks for your project dissertation. Now, again, I want you to do the indenting for the headings of each chapter to tell the computer that these are activities inside each chapter. So, you can go to task and click this indenting button or you can simply highlight and right click and find the indenting button there. Okay, now, after indenting, I have got one more item, which is conclusion and the final one is closing task. Here it basically means the uh, various closing tasks such as binding the dissertation, completion of uh, right, uh, uh, referencing, the initial pages such as acknowledgement, uh, declaration, abstract, and so on. Okay, now I've done this. I now need to copy and paste the start and finish dates from Microsoft Excel. Okay. Copy this, put it in project, 
You can see the duration has already been done, created by Microsoft Project. Next step is to assign predecessor. Let us say that uh, we want to start writing research aim after completion of overview. In that case, you need to assign 4 as your predecessor because the overview has the row number 4. So, therefore, you kept predecessor 4 here. Okay, 4 is the row number. This can also be seen in the bar chart where you see there is an arrow to tell you that the task activity of writing research aim will start after completion of overview. Now, again, in order to save the recording time, I have already assigned the predecessors in Excel. So I'm just going to copy these that I have already typed in, in Excel to Microsoft Project. Now, almost done. I just need to see that all these bar are fitted in the screen. To do that, I need to make some space free for which I'm going to hide these two columns that I don't need. And I'm also going to avoid this timeline. So there's more space now. And I'm going to say to the computer to zoom this bar chart in such a way that the entire project fits in the same screen. Okay, this is done. Alright, I also don't need this predecessor. So, I have them all here. Now, the only job remaining is to copy this uh chart into Microsoft Word. So I want to copy 11th of June to 21st of September, start date and finish date of my dissertation. So that's okay. And go to Word and uh, go to Appendix section and paste it here. Okay, your gun chart is ready. The term chart is ready and available in your appendix section. Now, this is it. So, thank you for listening and thank you for watching the video.